Hey, what is going on, fellas? It's Favstar, and today we're talking about the brand new Modern Warfare 2 Gunsmith 2.0, which features a new and unique weapon and attachment unlock system. It's a big change from what we've seen in past Call of Duty titles, and it's confusing as hell, but today we're going to break through all the confusion and explain this system in the simplest possible way and in the shortest amount of time. We're going to talk about weapon platforms, the brand new receiver attachment, and how this all ties in with the brand new weapon attachment cross progression system. At first glance, the gunsmith appears quite similar to what we saw in Modern Warfare 2019. We are able to equip up to five attachments at any given time from several categories that we are already familiar with. We've got muzzles, barrels, lasers, optics, stocks, rear grips, magazines, ammunition, under barrels, and finally the new receiver attachment which is a unique mandatory attachment which doesn't count towards your five attachment slots and allows you to convert your weapon into an entirely different weapon within the same weapon platform. But what exactly is a weapon platform? Well, quite simply, a weapon platform is a group or family of weapons which are produced by the same manufacturer and they share common attachments. A weapon platform can contain as little as only a single weapon or as many weapons as needed, and the weapons can be of completely different types. For example, the M4 platform includes the M4 assault rifle, the M16 assault rifle, the FTAC recon battle rifle, the FSS Hurricane SMG, and the 556 Icarus LMG. In contrast, the Fennec platform contains only a single weapon, the Fennec 45 SMG. But of course, as new weapons are added throughout the game's life cycle, these weapon platforms will likely get larger in size. Weapon platforms play a major role in how weapons and attachments are unlocked. Initially, only the base weapon for a given platform will be unlocked and available for use, and you'll need to level up that base weapon until you unlock the receiver attachment for the next weapon in the platform hierarchy. Looking at the M4 platform progression tree as an example, we can see that at level 13 we'll unlock the receiver for the FTAC Recon Battle Rifle. We'll then need to level up the FTAC Recon to level 16 for the FSS Hurricane SMG receiver. This process continues until all receivers are unlocked within the given platform, and from that point onward all weapons will be available for use. What's interesting is that as you unlock attachments during this leveling process, these attachments are also unlocked and available for use by other weapons. Weapon attachments can essentially be categorized into two groups. Receivers, barrels, magazines, stocks, and rear grips are known as weapon platform specific attachments, which are only usable within a specific weapons platform. The remaining attachments consisting of muzzles, underbarrels, ammunition, lasers, and optics are known as universal attachments, which can be used across all weapon platforms. For example, when I unlock the SZ Reflex Optic, since it's a universal attachment, it's available for use by any weapon in the game which has this optic as an option. However, when I unlock the 45 round mag, since it's a platform-specific attachment, it's unlocked and available for use only by other weapons within the M4 platform. If you find yourself wondering why the developers decided to make such a bold change to the attachment unlock progression system, then look no further than Weapon Vaults. Weapon Vaults are similar to Blueprints, except unlike Blueprints which are normally equipped with five attachments, when purchasing a Weapon Vault, you'll be receiving every attachment for an entire weapon platform artistically themed for that particular weapon vault, allowing you to swap out attachments and create your own build without losing the overall aesthetic of the weapon. No doubt you've already been prompted to upgrade to the Modern Warfare 2 Vault Edition where you'll receive the FJX Cinder Weapon Vault. And when you see the price tag, you'll have a really good understanding of why the developers are super excited for this new system. Despite the convoluted and confusing menu interface, what we have here is a system which has the potential to reduce the annual weapon attachment grind 
that we're normally faced with each year. And with each weapon maxing out at level 20, at least in the beta, weapons seem to level up quite fast. In addition, as new weapons are released throughout the year, as long as they belong to an existing platform, you'll have attachments available for use right away and won't need to grind every new weapon that gets added to the game. On the downside, this new system completely destroys the traditional attachment unlock system of simply picking your favorite class of weapon and then the specific weapon you want to level up. For example, let's assume I'm an LMG guy and I want to use the Wrap H and I see it's locked. I have no way of knowing from this screen what I need to do to unlock it. So first I'll need to identify the platform, which in this case is Lockman Mirror, and then go find the base weapon in the same platform, which could be anywhere. Eventually I determine that the Lockman 762 battle rifle is the base weapon, and looking at the progression tree I can determine what's required to get the Rap H unlocked. This is going to force me to play with weapon classes that I don't enjoy, simply to unlock my preferred LMG. At the end of the day, what we have here is a convoluted and confusing system, which does have some potential benefits, as well as several drawbacks. Is this innovation, or simply change for the sake of change? Let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys on the next one.